Crystal Caves. If you do not, if you are not aware of that area, basically the entire gimmick to it. And I use the term gimmick because I think that's kind of, I mean, every single level that is in the end has a gimmick to it. So the new Londo Ruins gimmick is that, is the ghosts. You can only hurt them with a cursed weapon or you have to use a transient curse on yourself to enable you to be able to block their attacks or, you know, all the, blah, 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 whatever. Um, the Lost Isla gimmick is obviously, obviously the lava. Tomb of Giants gimmick is the darkness. The Crystal Caves gimmick is that there are invisible pathways and uh, there's like little dust that kind of filters down and will land kind of, that kind of shows you where you can step, but isn't just like, hey, let us illuminate the entire pathway for you. Um, so what's that at? That's it. Oh, that's only a plus three, so I'm gonna need five more green titanite shards before I can even get it to plus five. Ouch. Now zero large titanite shards. I wonder, nah, not yet. That's something to consider later, once I have at least a bit higher stats to start using uh, souls on upgrade weapons, but for now... God, that only got me three levels. Ooh. Um. But, so, if you're only going to the boss, if you are going to avoid all the side shit, you're not going anywhere else, you're just going straight to the boss, the pathway is actually pretty easy. It's not terribly difficult to fall off. One of them can be a little awkward, uh, the very final one that you have to pass to get to the main section, but aside from that, let me see, oh, actually, I'm where I want to be. But aside from that one little, uh, aside from that bit, it's pretty straightforward and easy to get through the area. However, if you want to get to the side stuff, you gotta deal with this one sec- it curves all over the place, uh, there's very little dust to highlight your way, so in general you have to use like those 20 prism stones that I got from the chest. If you drop those, they highlight uh, a path in front of you. And so the reason why they gave you 20 of those is because you can use those. So if you're not sure if the path continues or which direction the path continues, you can then just toss one of those down and see, you know, does it fall to the cavern floor or does it hit the invisible pathway? You don't know. Um... But that one is just absolutely terrible to go through. It just, it sucks. I can't, I have nothing good to say about it. It's just a bad, it's just bad design. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, and so, but usually I never have to use it. Because I don't use weapons like that. Like the only magic weapon I've used actually so far throughout the entirety of uh, my playthroughs of this has been the Moonlight Greatsword which you cut off from uh, Seath's tail. You don't use the regular upgrade materials. I think that one takes Dragon Scale. I think that's that's the weapon that I've used before that takes Dragon Scale. That and Priscilla's Dagger, those are the two that I've used. Um, and I think a shield, maybe potentially, not positive. Anyway, that's irrelevant. I think that one, yeah, it does. These dudes are so much easier to deal with and they still drop the same shit. I don't know if it's the same exact chains. But yeah, it's kind of like, why would I deal with all those dudes when I can just come over here and body these dudes for Ray? Oh shit. I'm Frey. Do I have? I do still have the colors. Serpent ring equipped, actually. I'm going to want to equip something different. First, we'll go with the rusted iron ring just to get across this area. Um. What was I going to talk about beyond that? I don't know, Crystal Caves just suck. Everything sucks because it's an area built around the gimmick. Like, rather than having an area that's just strong design, fun to explore, uh, and, you know, a bunch of side stuff to discover, it's just, here's this gimmick, everything deals with it, you're not gonna have fun, suffer. Like, that's the extent of everything. Man, see, like, it's still, I don't understand, I don't, I, it has to be that you have to summon Dusk and talk to her first. Because usually her equipment is behind this right here. You can get her shit. But it's not been there the past couple of times I do this. Let me see. I guess the Chloranthi ring is kind of the best I can use for this fight. Because you go, st well you don't go straight into a boss fight, but you don't have to explore at all. You have to deal with a boss before you can get further into the area. Hello. Hello vagina hand. My 
might I suggest a trim? So, yep, here we go. The Sanctuary Guardian. I'm sorry, the Sanctuary Garden, which is guarded by the Sanctuary Guardian. It's not confusing at all. And this is actually... Oh, this is actually the first dude in a while we fought that has a tail weapon that can be cut off. This is the first dude that we have fought since I started recording that has a tail weapon that can be cut off. So we're going to try. I don't know if I'm going to be successful. Because it can be kind of hard. Oh, you know what? I actually should have kept the rusted iron ring equipped. I'm not sure if that qualified as a hit, but that just did a shit ton of damage. Oh, you know what? I should have... My bad. I fucked up right there, actually. That definitely didn't qualify as a hit. So, one of the best ways to uh, actually get his tail is to force a specific attack to come out. And to force said specific attack... Oops. You actually want to get hit by that wave. Oops, that was not what I want to get hit by. Oh, hey, his tail's actually down for the duration of that, too. I didn't notice before. Oh, wait. It's not, oh, there it is. So you want to get hit by this attack. Then you dodge to the side. And you get the tail. Or you don't get the tail. Oh, God, that's not good. Ah! Oops. I mean, I guess it does give me another opportunity. For the tail, because I don't know. I think I had done too much damage at that point in time to really get it for sure. But yeah, it's kind of funny. Like, the DLC characters, I mean, the DLC boss fights. You have this one in Kalami that you can cut the tail off of. And both of them are actually like... So let me actually go equip the rest of the Iron Ring again. Um, both of them are actually not terribly difficult. But, if you want to cut off their tail, it becomes a lot more difficult. Because it's just the opportunities to do so are not, uh, there, there's not a ton of opportunities to do it. As you can see, like, his tail's almost always up in the air. Yes! One shot. Wow, that's 623 damage. wonder why. because I did the run attack. Oh god, that's not good. That's not good. Dude, quit the shit. Dude. Oops, oops, oops. That was actually bad. Do a second attack there. He could have done that uh, kick attack on me. And that might have one shot me. 20 vitality, that could very well one shot me. What are you running away for? My head. Oh my god. Oh, please don't die. for it or anything you can just use it that's it yay 